beautiful day in East Texas, and thank you for clicking in today on the E2B Sports Net for E2B Extra. Hello, I'm Mike Midkiff, voice of the Tigers. We continue to broadcast live each Wednesday, beginning at noon on the first floor at the Ornella Student Center. Need to give you the results of the E2B fan vote this week. You had three things to vote for. What was your favorite sports moment over the past week? You had an opportunity to vote for these three events. Lady Tiger Tennis, 8-0 on the year. First time they've ever done that. Zach Biles wins the pole vault at the Trinity Track Meet. And the other one was Lady Tiger Basketball getting their first American Southwest Conference tournament win since 2007. And Adam Ledyard, our sports information director at ETV, has tallied up the votes. And he told me that Zach Biles' track and field event was the moment that ETV fans chose for the ETV fan vote of the week. And, of course, that's presented by Matt and Courtney Workman of Team Higher Purpose. Now, speaking of track and field, the track and field coach here at East Texas Baptist University, Natalie Prather, joins us. And this past weekend, uh, you went to San Antonio. Before we talk about the, the athletes, uh, Zach kind of mentioned that you'd planned some things for them to see in San Antonio, which is mm -hmm. part of being a student athlete is traveling. And he said he'd never been to San Antonio. So kind of talk about what the team did and how you decided, hey, let's go these places while they're there. Well, I found out there at least half the team had not been down to San Antonio. So we found out we're only two blocks away from the Alamo. So we went down to the Alamo. I mean, we have to go down there and yes. see that. And we took a team photo, and then we took the long way to the restaurant on the Riverwalk, um, also known as I Got Lost, but they had plenty <laughs> of fun. <laughs> we had, I think, 48 in tow down in the Riverwalk, which was pretty awesome. And I, they had a great time. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better, well-behaved, better group of group of athletes. I saw all the pictures on the Twitter feed and I wished I was with you on the <laughs> trip because San Antonio is a lovely place in the state of Texas to go visit. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the meet itself. Of course, Zach Biles winning the pole vault. Mm -hmm. That's got to be like, wow, that, did that really happen? Yeah, that was really exciting. Um, I mean, this is the first time that we've added pole vault. And so I'm, I'll be the first to admit it's, it's, it's very new for me. Um, I've done I've done some some clinics on the pool vaulting, but my I'm still learning. It's a learning process. So we're kind of he and I are kind of getting to know how to do this again together. Um, we're kind of taking this journey, but it, it was amazing. I mean, we've had some decent practices, but um, to be able to see him perform like that is exciting um, to watch his progress the rest of the year. Also had a good performance from Cody Blankenship in the high jump. I think he mm -hmm. hit first place, right? First, I, th I think he was second unless the guy got knocked down at the last. We were a little unsure because he was an unattached athlete. Mm -hmm. um, either way, Cody had a great day. Um, he had a great performance, and we're looking forward for more. For more of course, for he's the defending champion the last two years. Oh, two and let's see if we can get that third one for Cody. That's what we want. And Xavier Gray did well in the long jump. Xavier Gray is um, did fantastic in the long jump. We actually had a lot of guys that really um, came out and performed well um, now, throughout the day. Now, this is the third year, right, since they brought track and field third to year, ETU. Third year, yeah. Now, the first year, the numbers weren't there. You picked up a little bit more the second year, mm -hmm. but how many athletes are, are on the track and field team this year? We now, are, we officially have 60 people on our track roster. Wow. So starting from four, two years ago, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. Now, on the ladies' side at the Trinity Track Meet incident this past weekend, Hannah uh, Godwin, a good place, fifth place javelin, which I don't think I'd want to try that as a meet. And then uh, Shelby Sparks, fifth in the steeple, in the 3,000 meter st steeple chase. <laughs> That's the event where they've got to like jump over they've like got a big hurdles, hurdles. And they have little areas of water and so they're jumping into the water and they still have to keep running and it just is something fun to be able to work on speed and distance with some interesting um, things in the way there. Well coming up you don't have to travel as far for your next meet so it's probably good for everybody just travel to Tyler this week to, to compete in the Mark Randall Classic. Now is this a meet just for D3 schools or will there be other schools there at this, this track meet coming up this weekend? I believe this one will be open as well. We'll have quite a few D3 schools at this one um, but I think a few junior colleges will be there so that'll make the competition a little more exciting um, but either way it'll be a, a good way for us to be able to look at the rest of the conference and kind of see where we're sitting at next to our competition. Of course, you're being our, our track and field coach, and you're a distance runner. As you go to the track meet, what's your favorite event to watch? I know you like to watch all our athletes compete, but what, what is one of the events that you go, hey, that's pretty cool? Well, that would be a, a, a challenge because I, th I think I walked 10 miles yes, or this past weekend because I'm trying to hit every single one of them. But, I mean, for me, the highlight was the pole vault because that was a, a challenging. But, of course, the relays are probably the most exciting. I mean, everyone gets in, involved in that. Um, but being able to see some of these athletes do what they do and doing it at such a, an, a great level like Cody or even like Ty Parsons who got fifth in the, in the discus, um, it's exciting to be able to see how they compare. 
with 60 athletes going. How did you fit everybody on one bus? Well, it was challenging. We were a little <laughs> snug. <laughs> we had some people um, crammed in there. Well, Coach Prather, thank you for your time today. You. And best to the Tiger track team, ladies and women, coming up this weekend. Uh, they'll be in Tyler at the Mark Randall Classic. Now, the meet this weekend, where is it actually held at? It's actually held at Brook Hill High School. Okay, which um, is in south Bullard. of town. Yeah, yeah. in Bullard. Because mm -hmm. they'll, of course, have Rose Stadium with the track around it, some of the high schools mm -hmm. also. So to be at uh, Brook Hill, which is south of Tyler, great facility, uh, high school Beautiful. level there in Bullard. So that's where the track team will be this week. Well. Stay tuned. Still got more coming up on EGB Extra broadcasting live from the Huffman Student Activities area right here in the Ornell Student Center on the campus of ETBU. Back in just a moment.